I'm Daniel Nesbitt, and this is my typeface Hathaway Text, my original typeface for Term 2 of Type West 2022. Hathaway Text has been the source of tremendous growth for me. I've learned a lot from this typeface when it comes to designing text typefaces for long-form reading at small point sizes. It challenged me to see and draw shapes better, spot spacing issues, and consider how all of the decisions and details in my typeface would compare and coexist in a multi-weight type family. So much of type design is managing details, and this quote really struck a chord with me. 95% of the work takes 5% of the time, 5% of the work takes 95% of the time. Typeface design can seem like a never-ending project, and it was confirmed by some of the guests in our classes, but it really resonated with my own experience. Originally, the typeface started out as more of a slab serif and slowly found its way into a serif typeface by the end of Term 3. It's interesting to see all the little minute details that have changed, and I'm not sure that a year ago I would have been able to point out a lot of this stuff. It's been fun to see how my eye has developed throughout the year, learning to see these curves and details better. The bold and italic had a bit of a departure from the original drawings, but ended up feeling very much a part of the Roman Styles family. The next couple of screens here feature the character sets for each of the final weights in Hathaway text. Regular, bold, and heavy received most of the attention and critiques. While they'll always have more adjustments to make as my eye sees new things, I'm really proud of where they finished for the program. The italic weight made it all the way to the Group 3 character set. While I wish I would have had additional time to draw more of the characters, I'm very pleased with my first attempt at drawing an italic. As we get to paragraph text for each of my weights, I have to mention that I enjoyed sneaking a bunch of Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy references in my groups throughout the Type West program. It gave them a little something extra to smile about while I was making sure that the color and spacing were even in long strings of text. I think all of us have at least one or two specific characters or glyphs that we enjoyed drawing throughout the year. For me, that's the ligatures. Are they necessary? Well, sometimes, I suppose. With this chapter of Hathaway text in the books, I'm extremely proud of the progress I made this year. I have a typeface that I can set in paragraphs of text, and it looks like it belongs. I learned much more about what it truly means for a font to be a text typeface, and I think at this point I could admit that I originally just assumed that the term meant any style that could be read within reason at 10 point at the start of Type West. If I'm honest, I found the process of drawing text typefaces actually quite enjoyable, and I don't know that I'll be rushing back to the world of display type as soon as I thought I would. We'll see though, no promises. To wrap things up, one of the non-type design things I learned this year is that type design doesn't happen in a vacuum. It takes a village, and this is my village that helped me make Type West a successful experience for me. I'm grateful for the time that I have been able to spend meeting new people, getting to know them better, and best of all, being able to call them friends. I can't wait to see where the next step in my type design journey takes me. 